Welcome back to Chew the Fat. Now this is part one of a double bill in which we're investigating some of the greatest Italian cooking in the whole of the UK. And what better place to be than here at La Canda Locatelli, one of the great Italian restaurants in this country. It's amazing. Let's check it out. Tom, what is that? That, dear boy, is a Michelin star. Now, one star, two stars, three stars. Some chefs will spend their entire life and career looking up for the Michelin constellation, going for three stars. It is everything. One Michelin star is a great achievement indeed. 17 years, the Canada Locatelli has held one star. Bravo. Bravo indeed. Let's eat. Angele. <laughs> if you're coming to a Michelin star restaurant, You've got some of the greatest sommeliers in the world, like Luca. You want to trust their judgment. They know what they're about. If you're going to be drinking something like Vermentino di Galura, Vermentino di Galura is from Sardinia, from the northern tip. It goes superbly with anything light and bright, but it's the only DOCG in Sardinia, which is a domain of origin that's controlled and guaranteed. So look here, so why, why have we got a candle here? Well, he's checking for sediment. Because Brunello is one of those great wines of the world that's designed to age. Grape skins are in there, you might get some pips in there. It's been sitting around in a barrel for at least two years. So you don't want any of that sediment going into your decanter. And the act of decanting, it opens up the flavors of the wine. If you imagine the petals of a rose in springtime, really pretty to look at, not much going on. A few weeks later, everything comes alive. It's visually beautiful, the aromas are there, does that to the wine. In Spinal Tap terms, you're turning it up to 11. Oh, Ooh. filthy. Absolute filth. <laughs> it, it reminds me of walking into a deli and you get that whiff of salami, there's some roses around, a bit of tar and tea. I mean, you, can get, you can get lost in this. You I get lost already in this have. Glass, I already you? have. Lost in the dream. Mmm, that's grown up, isn't it? Hallelujah. Right, what we'll do is start off with this. Probably one of my favourite dishes in the world and made here just beautifully. Ooh. Tortellini in Brodo. What is Brodo? Broth. Mm. It is the purest, cleanest chicken broth, limpid, golden, and inside these tiny handmade. It's like the magic potion in Asterix. That, for me, is the essence of Italian cooking. Beautifully seasoned. So much flavor. Oh, and so simple. Mm. You think, you know, all that sort of Michelin food, no, this is proper regional Italian food. So that is just perfect. Can't imagine a better way to start a feast. Next up, this is another classic. Zucchini fritti, fried courgettes. You'd find it, well, you find them sort of all over Italy, but I associate it with the South. And what they've done, as you can see, is they've just chopped it very finely and fried it. Mm. The key to it is not greasy. Nice bit of crunch. With crunchy food, light, bright white wine, absolutely Ooh. every time. You could even have a bit of fizz. A simple dish, done very well indeed. Mm. Now we move on to risotto. Mm. Okay, now this is an absolute beauty. We have risotto and you can see the colour. This is your area. Yeah, well, with the Barola and Castamar cheese, you know, from uh, Lombardy. From my point of view, any dish that has wine with it and in it is the best dish in the world. Oh. But Giorgio, in risotto terms, is the master. Oh, my word. You see, every bit of rice is plump. You can mm. feel it separate. It's not overcooked. It's not undercooked. Stunning. Barolo gives it that savoury depth, that umami character. I'm going to pour wine on all my food from now on. <laughs> what have we got here, Tom? Now, what we've got here, which is a sort of classic uh, rocket and parmigiano reggiano mm. salad. I chose it to be difficult because artichoke is quite difficult to match wine with. Artichoke is a wine killer. It's notorious. And it's because it makes a wine taste really weirdly kind of sweet and sometimes a bit metallic as well. So it has this aromatic flavor. And you've got to choose your wine carefully. If you're looking gener generally around the place, Austrian Gruner Veltliner is another good option. It also depends on how the artichoke is presented. Here, pretty simple. Vermentino is going to work a charm. Good Italian food for me as an Englishman. And for mm. Italians, is very much the sense of region of uh, seasonality and of just simplicity. Bright and vibrant beyond mm. the realm even of the gods above. That is sensational. How's <laughs> it going away? <laughs> now we're moving down to Sicily. Yes. Sardines, Beccafico, but it uses all those classic Sicilian ingredients. So you have the breadcrumbs, you have the raisins, you have the um, peel of the citrus. It really is mm. very exotic food. Okay, let's dive in. And the stuffing. Oh, by the power of Greyskull. Mm. Even if you don't like sardines, this will seduce you. This will blow your head off in the best possible way. Incredible. Our final dish, 
fagato, liver, northern dish, you'd expect to find this in Venice, but then you've got the pine nuts and you've got the raisins and you've got the balsamic vinegar. Yeah, I mean, I love calf's liver and I ordered this because Roger Moore, one of the last times I had lunch with him, suffering from diabetes, so he couldn't enjoy his favorite dish, which was calf's liver. So he said, oh, Lou, would you, would you? Uh... <laughs> so I ate calf's liver on behalf of him, so if I ever see it on the menu, I always order it because I know how much he enjoys For it. For Roger. For Sir Roger, Sir the Sir late, Roger. great man and a great friend. Oh, Rog. Ah. Mmm. You see, it banishes memories of school liver with all the sort of pustules and tubes and tubes. This is tender, it's sweet, it is fragrant. Ah. Yeah, fragrant mm. is the word. I don't think I've ever had as good quality as that in my entire life. This has been glorious, Tom. Cheers. Cheers. Next time, it's pizza time. Is this the best authentic pizza you can buy? That's so naughty. It's quite oily, Spicy. isn't it? Oily, look at that. Mm. Pure heat, mm. pure lovely.